Okay, hi. Uh, this video was requested by Anster007. That's a cattail in the camera frame. Hi, Leonard. Um, she asked me if I would do a video on some good pigments for beginners, for people who are just starting to collect pigments. Uh, I'm not sure if you meant um, pigments that would be good for beginners to make up as well, so I tried to cover both bases. The first one that I talked about in my last video was vanilla. If you buy one pigment in your entire life, it should be vanilla. Vanilla is the most versatile, most amazing color ever. And I think a lot of people get turned off just because of the name. But really, I've seen people put it in their hair. I've seen people put it in body lotion or tanning lotion. I've seen people use it in lip gloss, on top of lipstick, as a facial highlighter, as an eyeshadow, as a brow highlighter. I mean, you could use it for everything but cleaning the kitchen sink. So this is vanilla, um, looks very just plain in the jar, very vanilla. And then uh, you open it up, and when you open it up you can see, I mean you probably can't see on my dinky little webcam, but yeah, you can't see. But there's a gold pearl to it, oh I just spilled a little bit. <laughs> there's a gold pearl to it, and then when you apply it, it doesn't look so much white as it does gold. I'm gonna have to clean that up later. Anyway, vanilla is a, is a permanent pigment, and it's I don't even think it's a pro pigment, so you can get it at the stores. Uh, next is melon, which looks like this. Um, melon is a wonderful coral peachy gold color. I make a lip gloss out of this a lot. This is melon. I wish I'm gonna try and make my light a little less harsh. Trying a new lighting setup. I don't think I like it. Yeah, it's too dark. There we go. There's melon. So melon is wonderful as a blush, or as a as a lipstick, or as an eyeshadow. Uh, this is old gold, and you probably can't see it. It actually looks kind of copper colored on this with this lighting, which is stupid. Enough. But it's, it's a gold with a green duochrome. Yeah, there's no way you're gonna be able to see that. So if you put this over black a black base, it's really gonna bring out the green. And if you put it over like a gold base or a yellow base, it's really gonna bring out the gold. It's a really cool, unusual color. Very, um, very strange. There it is. Uh, next is blue brown, which is a blue brown duochrome. It's exactly what it says. So that's the brown side. What you can't see is that it's got a really funky blue cast to it. So it's one of those colors where you turn one way it looks blue, you turn one way it looks brown. It's really funky. And it was the first, um, actually you might be able to see it on my finger the best. It was my. It was the first color that I ever had that was like that. This light is gonna be the death of me. Can you see that? A little bit. I don't even know. There's blue brown for you. Um. Okay. This is rose. We have to have a little chat about rose. A lot of people hate rose because rose is extremely chunky. Can you see that? See how chunky that is? You can see it in the jar. But it's a gorgeous golden, golden pink color. So if you know how to work with chunky pigments, right? If you if you know, for example, that you have to use them wet and you have to use them over a base, they're it's fantastic. There, I think I fixed that a little bit better. So there's rose. And there's the old gold and the blue brown. All right. Um, so you have to use this wet. You have to use this over a base. Um, I usually use paints or paint pots, but rose is awesome. I also make a lip gloss out of it a lot. Um, okay, this is a limited one. This is sun pepper. Came out about a year ago with the holiday sets in little vials. 
and um, some other collection where I got the, the jar from, but I don't remember which one. Sun pepper is a, it's a brown. It's a very, um, like a medium neutral brown with a silver pearl in it. And it's another one of those that kind of changes color depending on, you know, which way you're looking at it. So sometimes with sun pepper, it looks like it's a brown. Sometimes it looks like it's a silver. Sometimes it looks like it's some other, like a reddish color. It's awesome on the lips. It's awesome for eyes. It's just awesome. So that's sun pepper. Um, I would I would see if you could get a sample off of um, Make a Valley or the Live Journal community. Um, the next two I only have samples of. This is cornflower. Wow, my hand looks really disgusting with the pigment on it. I'm gonna use the other side. This is cornflower, um, and that's about how it looks in real life it's a it's a bluey purple or a purpley blue I like to use this just from the lash line to the crease and blend it up into some vanilla it's gorgeous can you see that cornflower and golden lemon which I also only have a sample of this is golden lemon wow there's my disgusting hand again it looks like I have poop on it um, so there's your golden lemon and this is an extremely sparkly shiny I just have a tiny tiny sample of this but I have to get a jar of it because I love it it goes on and it looks like a yellow gold and then you buff it out and it almost you can almost buff it out to look like a lighter version of vanilla see how it's it's very sparkly but it's not you know, it's not like so yellow in your face. So those are some good ones to start with. Um, if you want to get a little more adventurous, I think golden olive is a wonderful color. This is a permanent color. Uh, it's at the it's at the stores. It's at the, the you don't have to go to a pro store to get it. It's a it's like a olive green color with a gold pearl to it very gorgeous very wearable the color payoff is excellent um, but, 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 let's see what else do I have in the the magic pigment drawer I love mutiny this is mutiny this is from naughty nauticals it came out earlier this year it's a very bright light like an aqua very lovely. That's limited, so you're gonna have to buy it off of someone who bought it when they could get their hands on it. Um, this is Air to Blue. It's a more muted version of Mutiny. Almost, it's it's just not quite so bright. It's more of a it's a it's like a silvery blue. It's got a it's got a silver glitter to it. I've got so many pigments in this drawer. Um, that's probably a good place to start. Um, I'm going to try and get better lighting for next time, but it's like, it's almost midnight and I don't want to turn on all the lights in the house. So <laughs> so I hope that helped. It at least gave you some names of some things to start with. Like I said, start with vanilla. You really won't be sorry. And um, if I can answer any other questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks. Bye.